Hi, my name is Joel Gross, and I'm going to make a short video talking about different e-commerce software systems. Because when I first started, I couldn't find good information comparing different different e-commerce platforms. Um, I've used three platforms, and I'm going to talk about those three today. Uh, the three platforms are Zencart, NOP Commerce, and Shopify. Um, I'm going to talk about each one individually, and then I'll talk about comparing them at the end. Zencart is an open source software system based on the LAMP stack, Linux, Apache, MySQL, PHP. Um, it's pretty simple to install. All you have to do is download it off the website here, right here. And then once you've downloaded it, you simply install it on your web server and then configure it to show your products and your items. Um, my perspective on Zencart is that it's very easy to install but it can be difficult to configure in the way that you would like it to be done. Um, there's a lot of issues that, uh, that it doesn't solve properly, in my opinion. I don't think it's that great for search engine optimization. Um, it, it has some other issues. I don't think it, it's, it's updated very often. Uh, the releases are, don't come very often. Um, but the plus side, it has a great base of developers who contribute to forums and blog posts on how to use it. Um, I'm going to demonstrate for you uh, my, one of my websites that I have built on Zencart. It's called digitalautogages.com. Um, this is a, a website that sells truck gauges and things like that. Um, as you can see here, it look, look, you can configure it to look pretty good. Um, I, I actually bought this theme and then just install this theme, then change it around, did some configuring, uh, and put this new image right here, put this image in right here, this with the vehicles. Um, there's certain things I've discovered that uh, Zencart doesn't do very well. I don't think the check checkout is very good. Um, they, do, they do have some options in plugins that will supposedly help you fix your checkout, but I actually found those not to be all that great. Now you can see here it works like I. You can pick select your uh, configuration options for a product. Um, then you would click Add to Cart, and that's not great for optimization. You needed my little tiny red Add to Cart button. And then you just you, and then you click how you want to pay, and then go set it up. Um, I'm actually had the website on GoDaddy, which is why it's so slow. I wouldn't recommend GoDaddy to anyone, um, and. I'm going to show you the back end now too, so you can see see how that looks. Uh, as you can see, it's fairly complex. There's a lot of options. It's just good that you can configure all these things, but if you don't configure something right, you could run into a lot of problems. Um, I've also had a lot of difficulties with uh, getting the, the shipping modules set up correctly. Um, I don't think it's made super easy to use that way, but the one thing is that Zencart, the back end, is very powerful. There's a lot of options. So a lot of different things that you can use. You have catalog, modules, customers, location, localization, uh, different reporting functions, then a bunch of tools. I don't think their pages are set up very easily or in a, in a sensible way. I think a lot of these things can be combined and made simpler. Um, I also don't like the way that their uh, gift certificate, certificate and coupons are set up. Um, but I think that you'll, you'll see in these other websites how, how it can be done a little bit better. Uh, overall, I think Zencart, it's, it's not a bad option. It's free, and if you're comfortable with the LAMP stack, then I would recommend going that way. Um, I'm going to talk about NOP Commerce, which is an ASP.NET solution. Um, it's a recent one. They, they actually just launched it, I believe, in 2008, um, and they've been rapidly iterating on it. And there's a lot of work going on it, and so, so you know that there's new features coming out all the time. Uh, I, th I think that the features are more powerful than those of Zencart. There's some, some really cool things I really like, like a full affiliate section, uh, easy to use coupons, easy to use set up for coupons. Um, there's, there's different recurring products, uh, there's new payment modules, there's all sorts of different things that you can use that are, are fairly easy to set up. Um, now for installation, NLP Commerce is just like Zencart, just download the package, upload it, and then you'll have a default version ready to go. However, there's less themes and there's less options that way that you can use at this point because it's such a new system. Um, the themes they do have look pretty good. They're all Web 2.0 style themes. 
Um, I think that NLP Commerce is a, is a great way to go if you're an ASP.NET developer. Um, there's obviously the issue of the, your hosting will be a little bit more expensive because you have to pay for Microsoft's licensing, such as the, the SQL Server database, and hosting it on uh, a Windows Server. Um, I, I think NLP Commerce could, could be a really great system, especially if you're comfortable with ASP.NET. Uh, I, I think Zencart and NLP Commerce at this point are fairly similar in uh, the level of quality. I think that you should select which system you want to build on based upon what you're more comfortable coding in, whether that be the LAMP stack or ASP.NET. Now the final option I'd like to talk about is called Shopify. Now Shopify actually removes a lot of the difficulties and all the tech stuff that you would normally think about when you set up an e-commerce website. They handle the hosting, the SSL certificates, they help with the setup and the implementation of everything from payment modules. So if you want to have uh, Authorize.net or PayPal or Google Checkout, or if you want to use uh, shipping modules such as uh, uh, integration with UPS, USPS. Um, I, I think that they also do DHL and FedEx. Uh, they, those, those are all really easy to set up, much easier than having to do it by yourself on NLP Commerce and Zencart. However, Shopify, the issue of it is it's paid. Uh, and it's pretty expensive. I'm going to talk to you a little bit about these fees. Now these fees are on top of any uh, other fees you might, you might have from Authorize.net or PayPal. Um, $24 a month. I mean, that's, that's fairly reasonable like if you could just consider hosting costs, which they're covering. But what they get you on is the transaction fees. The transaction fees are something you wouldn't have to pay on Zencart or NOP Commerce. Um, and it's 2% of your revenue at the $24 level. 1% at the $59 level, down to half a percent at $249, and you have no uh, transaction fee at $700 a month. Um, but as you can see, like they definitely take a good portion off the top. It's a pretty expensive system. Um, that being said, I really like the way it's set up for search engine optimization. Uh, it's super simple to use, super simple to add your products, super simple to get started. Um, customization is easy. Uh, if, if you want to customize your theme, you can either pay one of their developers to do it, or you can work with their liquid template theme, um, which is, actually isn't that difficult to use. Uh, I'm going to demonstrate for you now uh, one of the websites that, it, that I've hosted on Shopify. Uh, this website's kind of a ridiculous, uh, a little bit of a joke I made. Uh, it's called prayerhelpers.com. You can buy prayers on it. I've actually only sold, I believe, one or two prayers. Um, but it's, it's kind of funny, you got to write up an AOL. But uh, anyway, so, so you can see the system, like it's, this is a pretty clean, simple simple website. Uh, they have full integration with Ajax, JavaScript, like it's, it's great for conversion, conversion process, like picking out a product, real simple, you click add to cart, and once you got that, proceed to checkout. Very simple, very quick, very pretty website, very, very well optimized for getting people to buy. Like, this is a really great system to get people to buy your products. It's very trustworthy looking. It's very strong. It's, it's a great setup. Um, and, and their admin section is equally powerful and easy to use. If you look at the, the admin here, you'll see you have your, your products, your inventory. You can see, uh, you can see collection, you know, collections, blogs, and pages. It's just really simple to add pages, really simple to set up the navigation. And they do offer full customization on the back end if you want to work with their liquid uh, theme setup and that sort of thing. They also have integration pre-installed pre and set up with Google Website Optimizer so that you can uh, test different landing pages against each other and do A-B and multivariate testing quite easily. Um, and it's also integrated with Google Analytics and some other systems just to make everything in your life super simple. But you'll definitely pay for it. Um, I think that for, for website newbies, I definitely would go with Shopify. If, if, if you're not very familiar with the web or like some of these different coding platforms, you're not a professional developer, Shopify is probably the option for you. Um, if you are a professional developer, then you probably would want to consider NLP Commerce and Zencart for the, the flexibility and power that they give you and also the, the free cost. Um, you can save yourself a lot of money that way. So this has been my analysis of the three different e-commerce software platforms. I hope it was helpful for you. If you have any questions, uh, just feel free to use the comments and I'll respond as best that I possibly can. Thanks for watching.